Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland newbie, bringing you the floor today, January 10th in all Upland cities. I've got some interesting tidbit for you. Um, I Google, I, I, I can't speak. I Googled today, best places to buy land in Metaverse, and the first thing that popped up was this list. So, Metaverse land purchasing platforms, and you can see open seas listed where you purchase platforms, it's not really a game. Then you see Decentraland, the sandbox, Selenium space I've never heard of. Crypto voxels haven't heard of. And then there's Upland. Then there's Eartha. Never heard of that either. But before I started playing Upland a year ago and one day today, I hadn't heard of Upland either. So the metaverse is still very new. It's like, you know, some people know about it. They have a cool, like a little inkling of what it's about. But it's still got so much blowing up to do. But I'm just happy to see that Upland is still making the top 10. Like this is like not even 10 things listed there. But it's on there and it's the first thing that pops up when you actually Google best places to buy. So anyone who's actually looking to get into the metaverse and wondering, hey, what do I buy? They Google that. Hopefully they're like, hmm. If they get down that far and if they do a little research, Upland does come up. So let's push that out. But what I'm thinking about and the reason I bring this up is that when you think about open, well not open, see decentralized land in the sandbox and how much it costs to buy land there even right now, just imagine if people put the same type of like value on their upland assets. Like instead of, hey, let me buy into Central Land, let me see what's up in Manhattan. And like, again, value your assets. I need to hashtag raise the floor in upland, but I just want people to value your asset. Like really, if people are selling things in the Central Land for like over $5,000, $10,000, there's a random XYZ 650 plot. Why are you selling your known notorious Manhattan properties for $44. So come on people, San Francisco $12.60. What's happening? <laughs> Let's look at the floor and see what I'm talking about. So Manhattan going back down the red, not a lot, but it needs to go up is my thing. I think Manhattan is being severely undersold um, for what it should be worth. So, you know, it's already a minted out city. You guys have control of that floor there value it a little bit more. Um, it's, again, you know, some places I can see why you would hold out, like maybe Kansas City shouldn't be minting, <laughs> minting out super fast. It's like maybe it's not the same type of place as like Manhattan or San Francisco. So just like know your place is worth. I think Kansas City is nice, but I definitely think there are places that everyone knows across like the world. And like those places are like Los Angeles, Manhattan, Chicago, you know, Places where we have had some history and some iconic things happen. Um, so anyways, this is our floor. Rutherford is kind of sitting where it's at. It's like it's not, it's not moving, but I'm glad, I'm, I'm happy to see people are holding where they're at. I think the $35 could come up. I think you can easily sell Rutherford for $45. So raise the floor, people. Hashtag raise the floor. Happy hunting. I'll see you guys in Upland.